Let me tell you guys a quick story. This morning, I reached in my jeans, felt this money textured thing in my pocket, pulled it on out, and I thought, yes, Dan, tonight you're eating dinner. Turns out, no, I'm not. It was 10 euros, and euros aren't even accepted here. What's up, Ah. Oh my god, I gotta watch that back. I just cracked my jaw saying that. What's up everybody? Today we're covering a topic that a lot of you guys have asked me to cover before. Through Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, even YouTube comments. You guys have been asking for this video for a long time, so here it is. Today I'm gonna give you seven tips on how to get a girl. Now I know there's some jerks at home that are like, Well Dan, how do you know how to get a girl? And you're right. I don't. And a lot of you guys are probably going online saying, how do you girls like me? And there's so many scams like, yo, bro, you gotta buy my book. And inside my book, it tells you how to get a girl to like you. You just gotta pay $50. It's a digital book. Tip number one. Now, tip number one is fairly easy, and it is funny. Be funny. You can either do it or you can't. Not everybody can tell jokes. Not everybody is naturally funny. Don't go over the top, because if you're over the top and like zany all the time, they're gonna be like, shit, I can't. Literally, I literally can't take you anywhere. Have a sense of humor. You don't necessarily have to be funny, but have a sense of humor. Be able to laugh at yourself is, is the humor creates a fun environment that everyone wants to be around. So, funny. That's number one. It's like the easiest one. Number two, have a passion. Be passionate about something. So, say you like to paint. Be passionate about painting. Because I think when ladies, when girls, I don't want to say ladies, that sounds so creepy. I was like, hey ladies! Girls see that you have a passion or you're, you're really gung-ho for something. That attracts them because it shows that you... I have no f***ing clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you now. This was a tip that one of my friends gave me. The reason why having a passion is so good is because it shows that you have interest in something. Because you'll meet people that are so, for lack of a better word, and I hate using this term, but so vanilla. It means they're so plain, they're so basic, and they're dull. They don't have any sort of exciting edge about them. And I think that's what, that's what makes us all unique, is that we have passions around different things, you know? And girls will naturally be attracted to... I mean, if it's not a weird passion. It's probably a bad idea if you have like a bug collection passion, where you're like, hey, you wanna see my bugs? Here's a spider. <laughs> Tip number three is ask about them. Ask questions about them. A lot of guys, when they, when they start introducing somebody, they're like, well, the topic that I know most about is me. So that'll be something. I'll tell them about how, how many soccer balls I can kick a minute. Or I'll tell them about uh, how I have the highest Minecraft score. Another thing you might want to stay away from is gaming stats. Just, just a suggestion, okay? We, we, we have a female specimen here. You want to ask interesting questions about them. They have interesting quirks about them that you should probably want to know as well. Find out what her passion is, because if you do, fun fact, Christmas will be way easier for you. I've seen a girl before where she had no passions. And I was like, well, shit. what do I buy her for Christmas? Hey, I got you this custom scarf because it's cold. <laughs> and you gotta keep that neck warm, girl. Okay, yeah. That's where you're gonna find material that makes them laugh, okay? Which brings me back to point number one, funniness. Sense of humor, sorry. Uh, okay, tip number four. Confidence. Now this is one of the biggest things. Naturally girls like guys that are confident. And I know there's a lot of girls out there like, no, I like my guys nerdy, I'm vegan. And Sorry, that had nothing to do with it. Have confidence. Because when you have confidence, girls naturally feel um, safer with you. They feel like you got everything figured out. Even if you don't have everything figured out, confidence can make it look like you do. For all of these tips, you need to be careful because too much of anything well, it just doesn't work. If you have too much confidence, it comes across cocky, and that is extremely unattractive. And if the girl is making you work for it, and she's making you have to perform like a little monkey for her just to impress her, forget that. Girls aren't on a, on a pedestal where you should have to perform for them. I mean, a little bit, because girls are a little bit better. They're just an overall better genetically being than guys. Guys, we have hanging things, and it's just not, it's just not, it's just not as good. Tip number five, have an opinion. I know if you have an opinion and you have a conversation with a girl, she should be able to handle your opinion. And that's what creates good conversations and debates. If you're there just like, yeah, no, no, I love them too. I love them too, it's so cool. If you're a pushover, that's not fun. That's not, it will get old. You want to hear what they want to do. Hey, do you want to go to a movie or do you want to go bowling? Oh, it's up to you, it's whatever, you know. It's... Have an opinion, say, well, I want to go bowling. Why do I want to go bowling? Because I could bowl the shit out of you. That's, again, bad, terrible, don't listen to me on that. I'm not even sure what that means. 
Tip number six, have a plan. If they say, hey, what do you want to do? Well, I don't know. You know, I'm currently in my plaid pajama pants. I just finished a 10 hour session of Call of Duty. That's not attractive to anybody. Especially if you have like nacho grease on your hands. No, man. Put an effort here, have a plan. Oh, you know what? I would love to be on TV. Have some sort of plan or goal. Because when they see that, it's like, oh, this guy's got a future. And they want to be a part of that future if you're the right fit for them, okay? <laughs> tip number seven, and this is the biggest thing, and this is, the, this is a tip that came from me. This is the biggest thing because uh, this is what I look for in girls. And it's genuine. If you are genuine, and you can tell, a lot of people can't, but if you're genuine, it'll shine through. A lot of people pretend to be something they're not, Say you try to be more bro, and you're like, what's up, baby? When I meet somebody, I know if they're legit or I know if they're being fake. And to me, it's red flags, and I don't really want to be friends if you're fake. Make sure you're real. Be yourself. I guess that's what I'm saying. You are, you're different for a reason. Actually, one more tip I'm going to toss in here. Girls love, love when you have a YouTube channel. <laughs> kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding, but I wish I wasn't. I wish I wasn't. There you guys have it. Those are seven tips on how to get a girl's attention, how to get a girl to like you. These are the core things about a personality that I think a lot of girls go towards, or a lot of girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any additional tips or if you feel like some of the tips I mentioned should be modified or whatever. But uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my videos if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.